Yo, what's up YouTube? It's me, Bad Choice Noah, with my dad and Eric. And today we are going to be shedding some light on some tips that I get asked frequently on both our channels. Or the first question is, how do I handle my snakes to get them tame? Or what is the best protocol to do that? So, uh, do any of you guys have any, like, secretive information on how to get your snakes tame? You know, I always tell people, you know, an animal like Daisy here that's obviously an albino reticulated python that's pretty heavy. First off, it's nice when you have Eric handling it because <laughs> it makes it really simple. <laughs> but uh, the truth is, handle with confidence. Uh, you don't ever want to go at a snake in a tentative way. If you're really confident in the way that you hold them, they're going to kind of sense that you have that confidence, number one. And number two, it's going to put you into a position where, you know, you're probably not going to get hurt as bad. And then just handle them a lot. You know, the more you handle a snake, the more they're going to get used to being handled. And as they get used to being handled, you have a less chance of anything bad happening. But, uh, you know, listen, don't start with a reticulated python, no, right? No, no. Not, not a good beginner snake. <laughs> But the truth is, Daisy is just an amazing example of if you handle a snake an awful lot, how absolutely docile they can become. What a beautiful snake. And, uh, and again, I think what a puppy dog. I know, right? All right, question number two we get asked frequently is, how often should I handle my snake? Which, it makes sense because if you don't know this, like it, it, it's a confusing thing to know like without any information. So uh, Eric's going to give us some pointers on how often slash how frequent you should handle your snake. Now you want to make sure that your snake has, you know, a comfortable environment, the right temperatures, things like that, humidity, and is the snake eating? If the snake eats with no problem and uh, eats every time, passes it fine, then you're in pretty good shape. The only rule I would go by, don't handle the day of or the day after you feed. I've had bad experience with it, and it's just kind of that unwritten rule not to handle it at least minimum 24 hours after they eat and the day of because it kind of stirs them up and gets them out of that, you know, little, little strike zone, I like to call it. So, and that's about it. Other than that, you can hold your snake as much as you want as long as the snake is eating and seems healthy and seems like it's not too stressed out. So basically, it it besides those couple things, you can just take it out whenever you want and just... Yeah. Be chill with it because the more you handle it, the more tame it will become because it'll become more comfortable, definitely, correct? Definitely, definitely. You'll learn the more you progress in snake handle skillship. <laughs> All right, question number three we get asked, not too frequently, but it's just a question that you guys should know. How do you handle venomous snakes? I'm just gonna let my dad take over because obviously he has the experience with the Discovery Channel show and all of that jazz. So, um, do you have any pointers? Yeah, first off, you know, definitely use a snake hook and always be very calm. The slower you move, the less likely you are going to be bit. Now, if you're using a snake hook, you basically want to control the front half of the snake and then you can keep the back half of the snake in your hand. But always keep in mind where that animal is going and try to read it. And again, slow movements. Now, this is only a mildly venomous snake, but this is the exact same technique that I would use if I were to handle a taipan or even a cobra of sense but always be aware of the fact that that animal is can move back on you and you can see on this hand right here it's actually curling on my hand right now that's something that I really don't want to have happen to be honest with you because I want to have the ability to switch hands if needed but if you use a hook control that first third of the body with the hook control the back half with your hand very gentle slow movement with confidence you definitely are gonna be okay. But in actuality, I always say, if you're handling any venomous snake, even a mildly venomous snake, make sure you've been around people that really know what they're doing so that they can tutor on it, kind of like a mentorship with venomous snakes. I just feel like I should put this in there and let me know what you think. I don't think you should be handling venomous snakes in the first place. Don't do it. That just doesn't sound like a good idea to me unless you are a professional, which I'm sure that, no offense, most of you guys probably aren't professional, <laughs> but, that's another pointer on how to handle venomous snakes if you get caught out in the bush with a cobra. Question number four is, do snakes enjoy being petted slash stroked? I'm gonna let Eric take over on this one. Uh, what are your thoughts on this question right here? Well, you know, some snakes do and some snakes don't. That's kind of a difficult uh, question to answer. You just kind of have to read the snake and uh, you know, sunrise here. You could pretty much do anything to the snake and it's not going to turn on you or hurt you. I heard someone say before, there we go, snakes don't like to be handled, they tolerate you handling them. So just kind of read the body language of the snake you have 
see like this girl here i can pet her she's not rearing up she's not getting upset or hissing or anything like that uh, other snakes they might not like it as much and they'll show you that they don't like it they'll coil back exactly. they'll hiss they'll, they'll twitch you off of there so right. i mean yeah that's a good point because every snake i would say has a different personality so it really Definitely. just depends on the snake so the more that you handle your snake i would say you'll get kind of a feel for what he or she uh enjoys or you, you know what i'm saying so it, it, yeah. it just depends on the the animal or not so just to answer the question some do some don't that's question number four final question question number five is how to properly pick up a snake a lot of people have a lot of confusion with this they get kind of tentative i mean i i know i struggle from that one out i see a snake that's kind of like striking at me i don't know what to do so um here shed some light on this what do you think well i agree you know don't be tentative that's the one thing you never want to do if you're going in like this it, uh, it's going to actually think that you're a food item now you can see perdita here is flicking her tongue so read the snake a little bit don't ever go face first if you go face first into her there's a good chance if you get kind of back here she realizes i'm not food now see i'm just kind of okay i'm okay you're not food all right now i know she knows i'm not food and then you just pick her up. So always make sure you're behind her head because they're gonna strike forward. They're not gonna strike backwards. So once you get them kind of, you know, six, eight inches behind their head, depending on the size of the snake, of course, it is with Perdita, you can just pick her up and then just handle her with confidence. It's completely fine. But always remember that a snake's reaction when you open that cage is gonna be, oh my God, I'm getting fed. So if you go in hand first, she's gonna think oh my god it's food time i'm gonna go ahead and bite that so just keep that in mind once she realizes hey it's not food it's handle time then it's completely fine and the more you handle your snake the more it's going to get used to that as well because if every time you open that cage you're just feeding it it's always going to think every time that cage opens i'm getting fed if three out of four times you open that cage it's to her handling it's going to realize oh, okay i come out and i can be handled by my owner nice also a little update a lot of people ask about perdita man her spots are coming in nice she's looking gorgeous Isn't man she pretty? it is crazy uh, this girl can't believe that's the same snake that thing i know is huge when, when we first got her she was literally all Holy white smokes. no spots and like now she's got all these nice little spots on her and looking yeah. good i can't wait till she gets huge i know she's so amazing so that was just a little bit of tips and stuff from frequently asked questions from new snake owners i would say and um i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any more questions and potentially want me to make another video with your personal questions leave them down in the comment section below and uh we'll touch up on them so uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh like comment and do all that jazz and um uh, i'll see you in the next one deuces <laughs> peace <laughs>